Okay, so uh, good morning. Uh, I'm Jeremy Lyson, and this is my individual thesis research on for the Math and Computer Science Department. Uh, Touchdown Social, an interest-based content delivery algorithm for social media. To start. So to begin with, uh, uh, my thesis research is uh, using three different uh, factors. First, the social networking websites, then an algorithm, and in, and it is an interest base. So basically, this entire thesis is about a algorithm that uses primarily the interest of the users to, de to determine what are the contents to be displayed in his social media account. Okay. Okay. okay, so it's for the chapter one, same the problem. Uh, interest of the user is not explicitly part of many SNS algorithm. Uh, for uh, one of the mo uh, good example for this problem is the uh, Pinterest, where in uh, no uh, in Facebook, where in the uh, the edge rank algorithm primarily uses the connection of a user to another user as their primary factor for determining the what is the what are the contents to be displayed in this news feed uh, many users are dissatisfied with their current uh, social networking websites so this is the result of my uh, uh, research uh, interview on an estimated of more than 1000 social networking site users uh, using face that are using facebook so large social networking sites does not have enough feature for enthusiasts so this is especially especially for the people who are uh, particularly passionate about something, for example, uh, hiking or traveling. Uh, several, uh, many of the uh, social networking sites today are not designed for those activities. They're just designed for the daily use of uh, social socialization, such as messaging or connecting or updating, being updated to others. So viral events becomes annoying to to those who does not want to participate in it. So this is one of the uh, recent problems in social networking websites. So if there's a new trend in social media, it will be hard for the users who does not want to participate in that certain trend because their newsfeed will be uh, flooded with those uh, viral events, such as for example, the uh, Aldab event. If you don't want, if you don't like Aldab, you, you still don't have a choice, but it will be displayed in your newsfeed anyway. Uh, irrelevant posts are always present. Of course, irrelevant posts cannot be uh, removed entirely in the social networking sites. However, uh, many of the social networking site users are still annoyed by a large amount of irrelevant posts, especially when uh, organizations, groups, or pages starts to decided to start posting uh, contents that are not really for their uh, content. For example, a page supposedly for a registration starts posting quotations or uh, clickbait posts. Uh, so for the scope and the limitation, uh, the thesis focus on creating an interest-based algorithm. So this thesis is an algorithm. So, but I, uh, I also created a website to contain the algorithm just good enough to show that it's working. The website or system is the secondary objective, hence not prioritized. Other details at, such as layout, security, and UX is not taken into consideration as, so, since this one, this thesis is just about the algorithm. Attach rate algorithm is based on different inputs of the SNS users, which makes it very subjective. So this entire thesis is just based on uh, uh, interview, false group interview, uh, research uh, survey, and several other inputs too. So this is this, this is just a product of, different, of the opinions of different social networking users since they are the users so I think they are the, they, their opinions matters the most for the creating an interest-based content delivery algorithm. Touch rate, touch, rate, uh, touch rate algorithms capability is only tested using simulations and not by actual SNS users. So this algorithm was not tested or not yet tested on actual social networking site users. So I cannot uh, 
confirm the validity of this research. However, it was tested on a simulation program written in BB.net. Significance of the study for the social networking site users, of course, if this project will succeed, it means it can create another variation of available alg algorithms for social networking site users. For enthusiasts, it's, if this will be uh, successful, then their social networking sites will be more interesting for them since their uh, interest will be prioritized for their uh, interest. Advertisers and marketers, of course, if there's a if people can be targeted for a spe specific interest, then marketers and advertisers can specifically target those people too. For example, if I'm a marketer for uh, hiking shoes, I can specifically target people who are particularly interested on hiking. So I don't need to in to show my advertisements to irrelevant people who, and hence not. Uh, waste my money or and resources and for researchers of course this will also create a, a good amount of social uh, sociological uh, data which they can research based on the interest of people in geographical locations or other factors too uh, the objectives of this study is to create an interest-based algorithm to give a deeper personalization factor to users feed and augment socializations of SNS users, minimize spams and unwanted contents, block spams and unwanted contents, create a social networking website to implement the touch rate algorithm. <coughs> Justification, so increase effectiveness and, so and socialization of social networking website if completed and implemented will be uh, will generate more socialization both on online and offline if this will be su successful. Uh, this Research can also def solve dif can also solve different problems encountered by social networking site users based on my survey research. Real life socialization will also increase. Advertisers advertisers will have a more specific and cost effective method of targeting their users. So for the data, so this is the ano prezi isang isa ba? Yan. Yan yan. Ay, hindi. Itong untitled yan. <coughs> Close muna ito. <coughs> so, this next presentation is... Ah, uh, balik mo dito sa this next presentation is the um, my touch rate algorithm. So here we can see the entire uh, formula for the touch rate, which computes the uh, which decides which one which post will be shown first and last. So for first, okay, next. So this is my first uh, test on the algorithm. So this we can see all the different posts here and suddenly there's a rise on different posts because they have a different uh, parameters for example a no likes low likes medium likes high likes then combination of no shares low shares so all of those factors are mixed together creating around one thousands of uh, possible factors so in here tested started on test started on april 2 2016 around 12 56 pm and finished by 2 59 pm on the same date both uh, the result is both the like shares and the case showed the desired effect on touch rate. However, the implementation and calculation of the friends parameter gave a huge spike in the results and thus requires improvement. Uh, reason the touch rate algorithm uses this code for its final calculation. Decimal that parse quality multiplied by 0 0.1 multiplied by match and other multiplied by others match. So uh, this the Initial uh, initial calculation is faulty because in this part, this is where we calculated the friends parameter. Uh, it it generated a huge spike because uh, it calculates ten percent of the total likes as uh, an augmentation for their uh, parameter, which is a uh, very high, especially in a real life situation. So uh, the part, the algorithm was changed on that. Now this is the result number two. And it also generated, it still generated a huge spike on the friends. Okay. 
So after that, this is where this is the finalized version. See, in here the first parameter is the quality, quality Q Q uh, P. So in here we have the parameter of if the quality is less than 30. So for new post, then it will have an augmentation of 50 50 quality, then multiplied by uh, the number of likes divided by three plus number of comments divided by two plus number of shares. So in here, uh, it shows that uh, the most important factor is the shares followed by comments, then last is the likes. Since uh, this is based on the another research which I forgot to copy, uh, it shows that uh, among the among the social networking site posts, uh, likes is the first to gather first. Uh, it gathers around 1,000 while an average, while comments receives around 300 and shares around 50. So I prioritize the one that is that takes more effort to do, which is share. So in here we can see the the uh, tra uh, trajectory of different posts. Uh, we can see here the high shares, medium shares, then high comments, uh, high likes is ar ar around here too, then medium comments, then low shares, uh, low comments, and then low likes. So we can see here the arrangement of the post. For example, uh, medium shares is more having medium shares is more important than having high number of comments. So uh, if you have high a uh, medium number of shares, it will still have it will still be on top of a post that has a high number of comments. So next the reports. Okay. Uh, interest. Okay. Match, uh, okay, balik pala, balik. Nakalimutan ko ilagay yung data. Sige, balik. So, in here for the reports, we have the, uh, only the summation of reports. For the interest, the, inter the formula is 1 plus match interest. So, uh, in order to avoid multiplying by 0, I started it with 1. Then, match, for the match interest, uh, summation of friends with the same interest, multiplied by a uh, summation of match interest so uh, others friends who made an action on the post so if a, a friend of yours uh, likes the same post or commented on the same post it will always give a boost on the rank on the uh, oval or oval rank of the post so next the decay decay is the unique time timestamp minus the posted date so, so the, the difference from now to the date it was posted by seconds then minus the timestamp the summation of multiple instances divided by number of in instances by 60 and 30 so this one is uh, by per 30 minutes yeah per 30 minutes it will be divide it will be uh, deducted to the overall decay because a, a higher decay means it will be it will have a it will be rank lower if it has a higher decay it means it's, a, it's an older post so in order to avoid that you need to have a multiple instances of that post meaning uh, it must be shared again or it, it must be connected to you again again and again to for it to be up so na next is the members this is for groups and uh, groups I uh, know for pages only so the number of fans also consider uh, added to the factor so in or overall, this is the formula. So the total quality minus the reports times three multiplied by number of interest match plus the uh, match interest plus others the other actions. Then plus if it if it's a page, then uh, it will calculate it will also uh, minus the the decay. If it's a fan page, then in else we, we will add we will. Uh, put the members into the, into the calculations, which is uh, members multiplied by 0 0.001 plus uh, 0. Point. So this is around uh, the one percent, yeah, one percent of the total fans of the page. So it must reach that number of number of uh, likes or comments and shares combined uh, on a certain period, or else they will be penalized and they will go down to the rank. It means. Uh, if they did not reach the one percent of their fans in around thirty minutes, it means it's it's not interesting. For example, if you have a a page for guns, so you are expected to have fans 
who also likes guns. So if you happen to mass invite people uh, who does not like guns, you will be penalized because they will not like your content. Uh, on the other hand, if you post contents that are not related to guns, those the, your audience who likes guns will most likely not like, share or comment on your content. So that's the that's how I I try to solve that problem of uh, people trying to have their page filled with people who are not interested on their page and other and pages who are posting contents that are not interesting for their audience. <sighs> So just to give an example on the you know Don's website. Yeah, so this is an example of the touchdown website which implements the touchdown algorithm. So this is just an example, not this is not a finished uh, website yet, but this is how I visualize the you know <coughs> So here we we ah bali yung pagkaka ano yung dahil dito. Uh, so the images are not working yet. Since uh, we put the different uh, host, so this is the uh, uh, arrangement of the post. Here we have we can see the this is a new this is a new post. So there are no likes in here. So they are just arranged by date. Okay, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, lalim. Hindi ko ma... Ay, mali ba dito? Hindi ko database para ito. Paano ba ito? So, <laughs> sige, taas na. Maling ano. Ilumang ano ito. Okay, so, this the... Ano. Yung... This the website that I created to contain the algorithm. Just to show the algorithm. And we, it also have basic functions such as posting photos and updates. Then... Uh, we have also the blacklist in the in the you know in the bottom part, but uh, it's not yet uh, finished. So, but it it will be implemented in the algorithm. Uh, it was implemented in the algorithm. Anyway. Hmm? And so we can add uh, so the database. So in here we can see the entire database of the of the touchdown uh, algorithm and the website. We have the accounts, actions, album, blacklist, communities, connection, information, interest, then we have the interest list, page, pictures, reports, status, post, touchdowns, and touch rate. So, yeah, that's it. Ay, sorry, kanina. Yung code. Ah, yung code. Ah, uh, yung So, ayan. Uh, touch rate. So, here's the calculation for Izumo. So this is the uh, calculations for the touch rate algorithm. Okay. yung ano sir test lang to sa yung unang test so tinetest niya yung base sa uh, view ni user 10001 then first na 10 first na 10 ano to post then debug is true so sa so for testing purpose lang yun ay tinirran to real time o parang background function ng 
Hindi sir, real time siya sir. Matagal siya, kaya <laughs> kaya hindi minsan pag pag marami na yung content ano na, nag hindi na niya kinakaya, nag-error na yung PHP. So usually sa ano ko, sa console ko nirarun yung ano result. Pero kung siguro kung siguro sa actual na pag ano na sir, syempre mas malaki na yung infrastructure. So mas kakayanin na yun. Siyempre, marami pa naman pwedeng gawin para bumilis yung... Dapat separate na process. Oo, sir. Naka-background. Kaya kas mo yung... Oo, sir. Hindi, sir. Mga every 5 minutes, ganun. Kasi ano yun, sir? Social networking site yun, eh. So, dapat updated siya lagi. Or every time na... Oo, sir. Ano pa ang narutunan nito? Ano ito na siya? Ano ginamit mo din sa mga ano? Ano siya? Mga gamit kami ng framework din? Ah, hindi. Ah, yun sir. Ano, foundation framework lang din sa CSS para mabilis yung pag-style. Then, gumamit ako ng PHP, SAMP, sa, para din sa ano. Then, db.net yung ginamit ko para sa pag-calculate ng simulations. So, sa simulations, gumamit ako ng, ayun, pang automate. Hindi ko nadala kasi hindi naman compatible sa ano, J. Pero sa computer na doon. So doon gumagawa ako ng lahat ng possibilities ng lahat ng ano so no likes, mid, uh, low, medium, high, then shares, comments, with friends, with no friends, then others, interest, with interest then plus 4 pa ng report. So 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 2 times 2. Yun yung lahat ng possibilities na gina, ginamit ko sa calculations. Ayaw mo ginamit din din ano na reason mo about din? Ay sir, kasi hindi naman, hindi, kung gagamitin ko siya, kung i-test ko siya using actual users, makakailangan ako ng malaking demographics para mapatunayan ko na statistically, ano, na may, kwen, na may value yung research ko statistically. Ngayon, kung simulations naman, mapapakita ko agad yung result based lang sa mga, sa mga ano, possible, possible results, which is kung walang likes pero may, ma, may konting like, konting shares, may konting comments, ano yung mangyari, sino yung mauna, gano'n. So, doon sa simulations ko, is lumabas naman siya. Which is, inaabot ako ng around one day para mag-calculate lang nun. Dahil, umaabot na ng around 50,000 na combination ng likes, comments, and shares yung content ng database. So, pag kinakalculate yun, matagal talaga. Minsan, umaabot ng isang oras para mag-calculate lang ng mga ano. Pero may reason ko, ba't nag-calculate kasi hindi kasi hindi ata maran? Ah, sir. Hindi, hindi maran yung ano. Tsaka sa VB kasi, meron, pwede ko siyang gawan ng pang pang simulate eh, sir. Pero ano ba mag-click lang ako kung ilan yung gusto kong i-test. Ano ba gusto kong i-testing yung likes. Mag-generate lang ako ng record ng tatlong post, ah, ng apat na post na walang like, may counting likes, may medium number of likes, tsaka high likes. Then iko i-simulate ko 'yon. Makikita mo din, makikita ko na yung trajectory niya automatic kasi meron nang built-in yung VB para sa mga ganung bagay eh. Then kung pagsasamahin ko pa 'yon, makikita pa rin 'yan. Madali lang makita. So, nakikita ko agad yung mali, sir, kung ano ba, masyado mataas yung spike niya pagdating sa pagpasok ng likes. So, pwede kong bawasan yun. O kaya, mas masyado, masyado, masyado mataas yung spikes. Yun nga, yung kanina, yung sa friends. Pagpasok ng friends, bigla siya nag-spike pataas ng sobrang taas. So, hindi pwede yun. Kaya doon ko siya nalaman na dapat kong baguhin sa simulations. Ang tanong mo, Jay? Sir, okay naman. So, doon mo. Ang tanong ko lang. Anong kulang niya? Pag-ibig. <laughs> Ang kulang, sir. Ayun, sir. Kulang pa ako sa data, sir. Nang, ano, boy, on sa... Ah, ayun nga. Kulang pa ako sa data. Nung... Nung... Pag, nagagamitin ng actual na social networking site users. So, siguro kung, ano ba, kung may mag- magagamit ng around 500, pe, viable na yun para masabi na yung opinion nila is may bilang. So, doon ko ma-adjust yung... yung algorithm ko based sa inputs nila. Kasi kung konti lang, kung mga lima lang, hindi naman, hindi naman siya statistically, ano eh. Kung baga walang, wala siyang bilang statistically kung ano man yung maging opinion ng lima. So, dapat malaki-laki. Dapat na ito dito sa Facebook. Oo, no, sir. Ito <laughs> sa Twitter, okay. Ano? KPM na ako kay Mark Zuckerberg, sir. <laughs> Ayos. Okay na? Zen. Okay.